Mama Gina here, and happy Sunday evening to everyone. And it's good to be back. And I have with me my sweet Abby Rose from Paradise Galleries. And she wanted to show you her beautiful little poncho. And this is something we just got a few days ago. And this is handmade by a lady on Instagram. And I saw her link to her eBay store and I thought I would take a look. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it fits her perfect. Um, it's a zero to three months. And I think it fits her really well. And let me turn her around so you can see the back. It's very, very pretty. And I love the color. I love the pink and the black. I think it looks really, really cute. And she's very cozy. And it works quite well with her um, velvet or velour pants. And so she's just all cozy and cuddly. And this lady's name is Nana. And let me move my thumb out of the way. Nana Joswiak, if I'm saying that right. And so on Instagram, you just type in at Nana Joswiak. And you can find her page and her eBay link. And it was very reasonable, too. I believe it was only $9.99 in free shipping. Um, so I would like to get another one for one of the bigger babies, too. So, And also, little Abby wants to show you her bracelet. She's been holding it up. It's a little friendship bracelet. And it says, Love and Forever and Friend. And so she's just, just wearing that today. It's a little bit too big, um, but she wants it anyway. So I said, okay, you can wear it. And so that is something I wanted to show you. And then I will pause the video and get the little tiny babies and we'll get them changed. I'll be right back. And I'm back with Lana and Leah, and I started to change um, Lana, and she was wearing these cute little polka dot pants and with this onesie. And they have been in their clothes for a long time because I don't have a lot of clothes for them. But we just do the best we can, and I'm sure down the road we'll be able to find some clothes to fit and uh, maybe have more time to modify the clothes too that I have. So I'm going to change them both into a real white onesie and then we'll pair it up with some pants and some socks and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I haven't had these babies on camera in a while so I thought it'd be a good time to do it because it's their turn. So I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a long time since I've been making videos. A couple weeks, I guess. Seems like forever. But I've just been trying to feel better. And that's really the reason I haven't been on. Still having the stomach issues, although I'm better. Um, these bands here, I'm wearing these for nausea because it does help. And um, I get nauseated um, sometimes before or after I eat. And sometimes at random. So those bands are for motion sickness, and I've used them before for that in the past. And then I've always carried them with me in my purse. And I just remembered that... If they're good for motion sickness, nausea, then they would probably help because there's pressure points here. And I'm a big fan of acupressure and reflexology. And so it really does help. So I'm very glad about that because that's not fun. And also I've just been um, really busy at work. I'm, my boss is retiring and so I'm going to be taking over the business and um, 
you know, that's been time consuming, working things out, and I'm sure stressful too. So, and then, you know, right at that time is when I get my stomach issues, and so then it was making me a little nervous. But um, I started taking some betaine, HCL, which is hydrochloric acid, because I didn't have enough stomach acid to digest anymore. And that really, really helped a lot. Um, I thought it practically cured me, but then I overdid it. And I had a, a betaine with my breakfast and there was really no protein in that meal. So I just got over acidified and felt like I was on fire inside and my tongue and everything. So <laughs> oh, I've never had any type of acid reflux or anything. So I really feel for those people that have it. But it's a balancing act. You know, you have to have the right amount of stomach acid in order to digest and not overdo it. So that's what I've been working on. Look at how cute. She's so cute. I'll have to pull it back a little bit. I was going to put these pants on, but I don't know. They look so cute like that. I think maybe I might leave her like that and then put some socks on. Yeah. You cute little babies. You're so cute. Yeah, I haven't had a lo whole lot of time to, um, like, play with the babies and dress them. I, I do hold them, of course. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Um, and then being tired and everything after work. So this is a real treat. Yes, it is. I forget what it's like to play with um, silicone dolls. And uh, it's pretty fun. I like it. And a lady that follows me on Instagram, she just got herself a cuddle buddy. And I'm very happy, very happy for her because he's really, really cute. Look at that. That's just really, really cute. And I should probably find a headband. Maybe put the pink one back on. But this is little Miss Lana. You know, I forget sometimes and I get them confused. <laughs> and this smiling girl is Leah. Yeah. And we'll have to powder them a little bit because they are just a little bit shiny. Oh, and my husband had roses delivered to my work. Um, let's see, what day was that? That was Friday. And so I took some pictures and I will post them at the end of the video. They're very, very pretty. That was a very nice surprise. Very, very nice. Here, little baby. Here, little baby. Let's get this sweater off of you. So I wanted to change Lily Rose into something with roses and make it like a rose day. But I couldn't really find anything that I liked for that theme. So then I changed my mind. I thought you would like to see little Miss Abby and then get a little glimpse of these little ones. They're so cute <laughs> and so delicate. Aww. So what are your goals for 2020 as far as collecting dolls? Um, I've watched some videos and listened to the ladies and what they would like to get. Or some of them are actually very content with their collection and not really pursuing any right now. 
I think that I would really like to get another Reborn. And so I've had my eye on a few of them. And then we'll see how it goes uh, with work. But I would like to um, finish my doll very, very much. I'd like to see how that comes out and everything. So that's something I'd like to do. I know I have to have everyone needs some kind of work balance. And it's so good that we all have this hobby uh, because it's a really nice diversion from work. And we just need that, don't we? We need to look at these cute little faces. Yeah, the other night I had a dream that um, I was holding a real baby. And it was so real because I've, you know, I've had nieces and nephews, so I know what it's like. And it was just so real. It was great. That was a wonderful dream. So now I just got to get some of my nieces and my great nieces to have a baby. <laughs> Somebody needs to. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to make it. We'll make it. Don't you worry, none. Don't you worry, none. Yeah. Yeah, these are newborn size, but they're very tiny. So I figured that it would work for these little girls. And it pretty much does. I think it would be nicer if they were... Um, Creamy, it might be a little bit shorter, but I think that I just have to modify their clothes and cut them off and sew them up. Yeah. Boy, I've seen some really beautiful handmade um, doll clothes by people. I love looking at Instagram because I love all the pictures of the beautiful babies and looking at everyone's um, handmade items yeah I think that's really neat look at that look at you this almost seems longer than the other one yeah I guess they're probably um, probably a little off everyone's probably a little different but I got these at Goodwill a while back, and these things are something that you can always use with your babies. You can never have too many white onesies, right? Now let's put some socks on. We'll put these little pink ones. Yeah, and you girls do need a little bit of powdering, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're so soft and tiny. So soft and tiny. Yeah. Oh, it's been just a beautiful day today. I think it was in the 70s, which is really, really nice. Perfect weather. Because uh, it's been cold here. And so I was going to put these on her, too. Um... Let's see. I don't know. I might still do it. Oh, and then I have hats. I know I talked about headbands, but I was going to put little hats on them and see how that looks. Well, maybe I should not have put the socks on first. That might not work so good. <laughs> Mommy is just out of practice. I think that's what it is. She needs to get in here more. And be doing this. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit difficult. So let's put on their hats. And then I can always put on their pants, take the socks off or whatever. But I do have this one little tiny bib. And it's embroidered with a little bear. And I wish I had two, but I found that one at Goodwill a long time ago. But I think that's so cute. I don't know if I've ever showed that or not. But I could put it on little Miss 
Leah. Hmm. Yeah. It looks like it almost needs to be ironed because of that little edge there. Kind of sticks up. Probably needs to be pressed a little bit and shaped. There we go. And let's see. Where's the hats? Well, I have this one. And it says Kane County Hospital on it. And... Oh, I know. I think I was going to put a blue one on one of the babies. But it doesn't really match. <laughs> so, I will find a pink one. I think I do have the pink one. But let's move this little sweet pea. Here's a little close-up of her little face and her little hair. I love their hair. It's, it's so cute. And it stays really nice. So let's put her here. And then we'll put her here. And let's try on this little hat. Oh my goodness. Cute, cute. <laughs> oh, oh, too much. Too much cuteness. I like the pink and the striped. Socks, that's so cute. And I had another hat around here. But let's just see what this one looks like on. Because I do have a blue outfit that would probably go good. <laughs> Look at Look at Miss Leah. Isn't that cute? I wish you could feel them because they're so, they're light, but they feel so cuddly. It's kind of hard to explain. And if you, of course they wouldn't be real heavy anyway. And this is, this is Miss Lana. This is Miss Lana in her little hat. Oh, so cute. Yeah, it would be totally worth it to make some clothes for them or modify some clothes because they are, very very cute I'm very happy with these babies so we'll just put a little bit of powder a little bit of powder because you're a little sticky yeah you're just a little bit sticky here we go oh boy does that feel good little babies does it feel good yeah <laughs> Too sweet. Too sweet for words. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and a little bit on the legs, too. And you girls are all set for night-night time. And we can wrap you in a little blanket. I have these cute little muslin blankets. I have this one here with little bunnies, pink and blue, and this one with little hearts. So that's what they will go night-night in. Oh, and I did want to show you these bears. I'm sure you remember this bear, the red one, and this one came with the roses that my husband gave me and he had no idea that I would get this one and that I already had one like it so this was perfect sorry I keep up with the camera hopefully it won't make noise um, but they're perfect together perfect colors and they match exactly they're the same bears <laughs> so I call it the John and Gina bears yeah and so now instead of just having one because Abby likes to hold one then one of the other babies can hold one too so that's good well we're going to say good night for now because we have to get to bed and we have to go to work tomorrow and so hopefully I will be back real soon and hope everyone is having a wonderful evening 
and we shall see you all very soon. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>